Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and I'm here with Dan Reuter from Upol. Today's video will be the second of a five-part series which covers the Raptor Protective Coating System by Upol. Hi, Jason. Thanks for having me. As I mentioned in the first part of our series, Upol offers a full system of Raptor Protective Coatings that are available in National Rule and Low VOC formulations. Raptor is a tough, durable 2K coating for use as a truck bed liner or as a full exterior protective coating that can be tinted to any color. With Raptor, it's possible to create multiple finishes from smooth to heavily textured. Raptor provides a superior protection and is used across multiple industries including automotive, commercial, agricultural, and construction machinery and equipment. Dan, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're going to be demonstrating today? Well, today's segment will focus on the types of Raptor additives that are available, such as the Raptor Traction 4800, that which can be added to the bottle for the areas that need a little more traction that the surface is going to be walked on. First, I'll show you how to apply the National Rule 2K Raptor with one of our 15 color pouch additives. If you prefer to use toner from your own mixing bank, that's also fine too. We recommend using the color pouches if you're looking for a fast and easy quick way to get high strength, vibrant colors. Then I'll show you guys the same type of 2K Raptor application along with our UP4800 traction control additive, which has anti-skid properties. Dan, I can hardly wait to get started. Let's go. Let's do it. So to begin with, first I'll degrease the panel with UP2012. Then I'll scuff with 180 grit sandpaper. Shake your can of UP5023 Edge Primer Aerosol for at least two minutes. Apply two coats approximately 10 inches from the surface and allow three to five minutes of flash time between coats. While the final coat is drying, which should take approximately 10 to 20 minutes, mix up your bottle of Raptor Tinnable UP0821. Today, I'll be using the Flame Red Color Pouch, part number UP4868 which brings me to the mixing and application process. First, when tinting the color pack, add the entire color pack into your Raptor bottle. Add one color pouch, 1.5 fluid ounces or 45 milliliters per bottle of Raptor. Then, measure eight fluid ounces or 237 milliliters of Raptor hardener and add it to the Raptor tinnable bottle as well. Replace the cap and shake the contents vigorously for at least two minutes. Then check the color on the back of the cap before spraying and shoot. Traction Additive is a package in a convenient 200 gram resealable bag that can be added to one bottle of Raptor for a typical skid resistant application, which is what I'm going to do now. It's clear so it won't affect the color whether you're adding it to a black or a tinnable bed liner. So next, I'm going to add the color pack. Today I'm using orange part number UP4867 and shake it for about two minutes. First thing I'm going to prepare the panel by degreasing it with UP2012. Then I'm going to scuff it with 180 grit sandpaper. I'm going to degrease the panel again to ensure there's no dust left from the sanding. Then I'll allow the panel to flash for about five minutes. While it's drying, shake your can of UP5023 Etch Primer Aerosol for at least two minutes. Then apply two coats approximately 10 inches from the surface and allow three to five minutes flash time in between coats. 
While the primer is drying, you can add 237 milliliters of hardener to your Raptor bottle and shake it for at least two minutes. Attach your gun to the air hose and set your pressure to 55 PSI. Then, unattach the gun from the air hose and screw your Raptor bottle to the gun. Next, reattach your gun to the air hose. Finally, you're ready to spray your panel. First, you're going to follow the same steps you were using from the UP0726 Schutz gun. Then you're going to add 100 milliliters of color into the mix cup and pour that into the Raptor bottle. If you're tinting with a separate toner, you're going to use 3 ounces or 100 milliliters. To get the best color, mix it by weight and shake it for at least 2 minutes. Next. Pour the contents from the Raptor bottle into the new mixing cup and add the hardener. Then I'll add 10% UP2144 reducer to the mix and stir with a mixing stick until it's thoroughly mixed. Next, I'm going to pour those contents into the paint gun and attach the gun and you're ready to spray. Dan, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you summarize for us a little about what you showed us in the booth? Of course. Thanks again for having me. Raptor features industry-leading adhesion and UV resistance, and is resistant to gas, diesel, hydraulic oils, acids, and even animal urine. It's extremely durable scratch and stain resistant. Our system offers tinting flexibility. You can choose from 15 Raptor vibrant color pouches or tints from your own mixing bank. And Raptor traction control can be added to produce an anti-slip resistant surface as defined by ASTM E303-93. Great, Dan. It's been an awesome day. Where can people find more information on Raptor products? Of course, you can visit raptorcoatings.com. Amazing. Thanks again, Dan.